Hi, I'm Mark Clover, and welcome to Photo Training for You. And today I'm joined by Hardy Haas from Flagged Photographic, Hello. who's the importer of uh, Quantum, which we know each other for years because of that, isn't it? Really? Indeed, yes. Uh, traditionally, of course, the Quantum for me was a battery power to yeah. power speed lights, or mm -hmm. in the old days, the big Metz guns and thing, things like that. Yeah. Uh, then it developed onto the Q Flash, but now we've mm -hmm. got a brand new product. Yeah. A, hi a hybrid ring light. Indeed, yes. Uh, we've been waiting for a, a, a ring flash from Quantum for a long time, and now that they have introduced one, it actually is more than just a ring flash, it's a ring light, because yeah. it does flash as well as continuous. Yeah, so we've got and continuous light as well as yeah. some flash coming So out. it's LED based with a flash tube behind it, and it can be used for flash for stills photography. But at the same time, you can use the continuous light uh, that it produces for stills as well as for video. And obviously video is the, is the word at the moment. Many photographers have to produce stills as well as video Both. at the same time. I mean, the photographer today, the photographer of tomorrow, whether they're commercial photographer, fashion photographer, press PR, whatever it would be, mm -hmm they pretty much know that video is going to be involved in some way. And, yeah. the, por and the portrait photographer is going down that route as well with it. Yes. So anything that you can use in a dual pur purpose is really worth yes. money. I mean, yeah. uh, ring flash there is not new, is it? I mean, ring flash has been around no, photography for as long as I've been. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can, you know, again, around the lens, so it gets this evenness as far as the kind of the fashion Shutterless. look is concerned with it. Yeah. Gives a great chin strap shadow. Kind yes. of every, anything of surface the light falls off from kind of will actually increase the shadow kind of element just here so it gives a really yeah. sharp edge to kind of the, sub yes. the subject and with it's it. a relatively contrasty light to show detail and uh, a good color reproduction sure and, and yeah. traditionally of course even with studio flash there's i don't know of a studio flash at present in fact with mm. a uh, led light with it as well with no, it so uh, no, we again have a a it, unique product. Yeah, it, it, yes. it is there, can I? Yeah. So um, this is, obviously, we can see it's still powered by turbos. Yeah. Uh, this is the Turbo 3. Is it mm -hmm. powered by the It SC will work well? on, yes, any turbo battery. It simply depends on capacity. So the Turbo 3 is the best performer. And that will run for about 90 minutes at full power video light. Okay. And uh, if you have a smaller turbo battery, it will just give you, uh, relatively speaking, less running time. Now, because this is dim and bold, this mm -hmm. is just for the LEDs, though. This is not for the flash, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that control is simply for the continuous light, yeah? And that's a fairly complete spectrum that will keep its color temperature while you're dimming it, uh, which uh, not many units will do. And once you go to flash operation, you have a different control, and um, that will work via Quantum's co-pilot, for instance. That will go on your camera and then allow you TTL and um, manual settings okay. from the camera position. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the lights of the co-pilot, this, this is what we're on about here, isn't it? Yes, yeah. that's the co-pilot, which will sit on the hot shoe of your camera, uh, Canon or Nikon versions, and then you can control three groups of lights, and one of them, obviously, will be your on-camera, in that case, ring light. Mm -hmm. And this will allow you to use it in TTL, so the camera controls exposure, and you have all the manual settings that you're used to, for instance, on the Q-Flash. So yep. you go from full power down to 64th power. And, and then basically it. we've got a cable coming out of here. Yeah, this is cable, cable connected. Here, isn't yeah. it? So but it would still allow the co-pilot to col control other Q-Flashes, for instance, okay. remotely. So I can have different channels. Yes. Brilliant. So yep. I can still actually have a, a Q-Flash one in the background as a hair, a hair light or a kind yep. of just a, a background light of some kind of Indeed. way with it. Okay, yes. I, I'm not going to be using it like that today. I'm going to be going straight to the uh, sink. So uh, for me, I'm basically going to have to connect in via the cable yeah, the here and then obviously going into the hot, uh, the hot shoe mount or into the Into hot shoe sink. or the PC sink and then you can fire it. But when I'm connecting in that, in that way, mm -hmm. this is just going to fire in that manual mode. will only it? be manual and only be full power, so there's okay. no control possible. I think that's good so in a way because yeah, you know, some I mean, if you're a ring flash photographer, yeah. like I shoot a lot of ring, uh, ring mm -hmm. flash, you yeah. pretty much know your distance you're going to be at. Yes. You tend to use a medium zoom lens mm -hmm. because you want to kind of stay closer instead of kind yeah. of a long way away. So yes. in fact, you don't need a huge amount of power. Mm -hmm. And together with high ISOs that pretty much all the modern DSLRs mm -hmm. can allow you to shoot with nowadays, uh, yeah. you've got a great co uh, combination. You don't need a huge amount of flash coming out. No, you don't. That's the key thing. No. Uh, I think some of the manufacturers, in fact, have yeah. missed a trick to some extent because mm. they're all looking at kind of getting flash more higher powered and so on. Yeah. Where, in fact, with the modern DSLR, we are looking for less mm. and less 
kind of flash with it. But of yeah. course, the benefit here is that high, the hybrid, being able to shoot both. So you can leave, you can leave this on. You can imagine backstage on Fashion mm -hmm. Week. There's yeah. no light going on in there, and just That's being right. able to allow the the ring uh, the ring light mm -hmm. to just light some something even for focusing alone that's going to be big of help. course i mean it's a modeling lamp which sure. uh, uh, q flashes for instance don't have so um this will have a number of uses whether it's stills or video based yeah. brilliant well i'm not going to talk about it anymore i'm going to go with some shooting in the, stu yeah, good in the studio all right cheers thank you so i'm just using the camera bracket um for the ring light and that allows me to position the lens uh, pretty much perfectly within the middle. So it just allows it to kind of position itself in height and kind of depth away to allow me to shoot. The next point then, of course, what I've got to do is put in my PC sync just in towards the side. I'll switch the quantum off for a minute and then just plug in my cable into the back. I'll switch on, turn on the light. So we're in the studio, uh, we've got Becky, our beautiful model, and uh, we're going to be just kind of putting it through its paces. One of the things I'm intrigued about already is that when we move into video mode, that it's got an auto kind of dim. Um, so when I move in closer or the subject moves closer to me, in the video mode, it's going to knock its light power down a little bit. So I'm interested in seeing that. Um, but as far as the, uh, the ring flash is concerned, it's good to hold, it's nice and light and so on. Uh, Becky, come on in, just have a little play. I'm shooting at 200 ISO, 100 of the second f4.5, medium 24 to 105 lens all around lens. Let's do a quickie test on it. And again, what we're expecting from uh, ring flash is basically this kind of shadowless envir environment. You're going to see a slight little edging just going around the, sub the subject. And as I've said to you before, a little bit of a chin strap shadow. So I'm going to get on with the shoot. You enjoy it. Excellent. Lower the chin, Becky. Uh, we're pretending that she's a footballer's wife. Here you go, straight at me. That's lovely. And she's into all the magazines. And of course, the great thing about here uh, is that I'm just kind of zooming in and out to get a slightly different kind of repetition to the images. Turn the body to the side for me, Becky. That's gorgeous there. It's great just there. It's cool. And at me again, and again, and turn back around to me again. That's gorgeous there. Right around, I've just got that kind of black on the mark. That's cool. That's great. A little lean with the head on the side. That's gorgeous. And again for me. Happier. Excellent. And relax. So you can see that pretty much because I'm static and I'm just using that medium zoom lens to kind of move in and out, I can change my images. But because I'm in manual power, as far as I've just got the, sync P, uh, the PC sync going into here and then going into there, my power is maintaining the standard uh, full output the whole time with it. So uh, again, depends on what apertures that you want to use and so on, but great behind the scenes. Let's look at it now with using just a little bit of video and see a kind of how it works in real life. Right, I'm going to get you just uh, to have a, pract a practice first. Excellent. Happier. Excellent. It's there. Cheekier. Arms crossed. Let's kill this there. And again, let's shoot a bit of video. Let's, um, let's walk off a minute. Let me just go to live view. What I like about this is actually as I come closer, it dims itself as well with it. So uh, straight at me. I'm walking off. Happier. Cheekier. Happy, happy, smiley. That's it. Give a bit of a turn. Excellence there. Looking back to me. Cool. I'm back again. I'll do the closer. Hang on. Okay, ready? It's great. Working it. Done. Ready? Again, turn the body away and just looking back to me a little bit. Excellent. Turn the head more to me. It's great. And again. Uh, so one of the great things, of course, with this ring flash is being able to shoot in the dark locations. As a stills photographer, predominantly, that's what I need is to be able to illuminate a scene. Well, even if I'm going to use uh, the ring flash in the likes of a wedding behind kind of doing the cake or first dance, whatever, everywhere is always dark. And obviously, that's what we're using the ring flash to illuminate. But if you're a videographer and looking to actually illuminate your subject, we had a little play around there. Uh, I think we're on for a winner. So I'm Mark Clevin for photo training for you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Keep it. Happier. Straight at me with the eyes. Excellent.